Hi, right, YouTube. Picked up another bike yesterday. Got a 07 Z400. Uh, guy was asking $2,500. Certainly wasn't gonna pay $2,500. Um, not too bad. Plastics are a little uh, scratched up. Probably have to do a decal kit on this one for sure. Let's see there. Popping through here. Uh, it's got a big old dent right there. We'll just cheat that up, pop that back out. Uh, I'm guessing this thing was rolled. So, I'll have to check these handlebars. I'm thinking about getting some new ones, but not sure yet. Uh, this is definitely a new headlight. I can see a nice shiny little screw there. So it looks like that's been replaced recently because I'm sure it was all scratched up or broken. Uh, bumper's got a little bit of damage. Uh, it's got the resi shocks. There's a little surface rust on there. Um, tire has got like four plugs in it so we're gonna have to get some tires for sure grips are all worn out got the chains pretty much clapped out um swing arm much good i didn't see any cracks in it at least on the top i'll have to check the bottom skid plate's kind of trash too um i don't know what this void sticker is i've I know I had one other quad with that on there too. I don't even know, was it a sticker? I think it's just a sticker. But anyway, uh, heel guards look like they're in good condition. Got a fuel filter in there with the little zip ties. I don't trust zip ties holding that stuff on. Those things break easy, so we'll go ahead and get the proper hose for that. Probably gonna do a carb rebuild. Uh, the bottle seems all right, so we won't have to replace that. Um, so, the oil. I'm guessing someone did some work on this at some point. The kid was selling it for his father. Um, but yeah, check this out. Uh, that's the oil. There's definitely uh, some... Uh, water mixed in there with that let's get a light on here so look in there yeah it's pretty dirty this is a dirty but milky so definitely gonna have to address that um i'm kind of going towards someone who was in here replacing the water pump um hopefully it's not a head gasket but the reason why i say a water pump is because uh, if you look at this, there's an aftermarket gasket, the green one there. That is not an OEM gasket, so my guess is somebody's been in there. It looks like there's some RTV gasket maker on there. Um, if you look right there, it is rubber, rubbery. So I'm gonna go with the water pumps leaking internally into the oil. So it does run. Um, I'm been very uh, careful on letting it run because I don't want any problems with the coolant and the oil there. So, um, let's see what we got under here. Oh yeah, the tail light. I need a new tail light. I don't know what he's got there. The seat, not bad, but there's something going on up here. I think it's just like foam, spray foam. It's got a newer battery. It's missing the hole down, so I'll have to order that up. Air filter doesn't look too bad. Um, someone looks like they redid this here, must have ripped out. So I'll probably go ahead and just order the OEM cable for the negative side there. That way it's a little more stock looking. So, um, this bracket is gone. The tab is broken right there, but we can fix that, so. 
We'll go ahead and uh, get some parts coming. Uh, brake rotor, uh, pads look. Uh, a little bit of pad lift. Skid plate, it's kinda trashed up front there. I think it was broken up here, yeah. So, um, looks like we may have a bent rim there. It's a little flat right there. Um, I do believe I have some extra rims, so. See what happens when we uh, take those off. Get new tires put on there because we're definitely getting new tires. So, and everything does work. Lights work. Um, I don't know if his tail light works. Uh, yeah, it does work. I wonder if it works. Let me step on the brake. Yep, got a brake light there. But, yeah, I mean, I've had worse. I've had better. So, we'll go ahead and clean this one up today. Get it all power washed. Figure out what it needs. Kind of go through there, tear it down. Um, I'm going to make sure mechanically it's fine before I order parts. So, we'll go ahead and do that today. We'll do a compression test. Um... Kind of start with that. If we got good compression, then uh, we'll go ahead and pull that side cover off where the water pump is. Let's take a look in there, see what we got. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to do this. I would like to put it back up on the trailer just to keep it out of the way, but I don't know if that's feasible. So uh, we'll figure it out, but we're definitely going to need a graphic kit for this one. So I'm going to pick one out, put it in the save box. And uh, let's get this thing cleaned up.
She's all cleaned up. Um, let's go ahead and do a compression test. All right, first things first, let's get this plug out of here. Can't wait to see what we got. Let's check out the plug. Uh, definitely wet. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. Throttle is open. Key is on. Let's go ahead and crank. say 100 and what is that eight ish let's see 10 20 30 uh, so 5 10 15 20 so 5 so 100 and about 15 let's go ahead and give it one more crank PSI. I do know spec is 142. It's coming out for coolant. Just a bunch of water, rusty water, that. Alright, so we got some, uh, Rusty, dirty looking coolant. Um, and the neck looks like it's seen better days. But, uh, go ahead and tear that cover off and drain the oil. All right, let's get this oil out of here.
Alright. Cool out. Well no. It's all uh, thick in there. Um, I can definitely see someone schmooed the crap out of this thing. I don't know why. I think they figured that was the problem. I don't I don't get it. I don't know why. I mean look at all that. All that is RTV silicone. I don't get that. Like why would you even do that? Mm, the things people do just amaze me. So I'm gonna go ahead and order a water pump. I'm gonna pull the valve cover off. <clears throat> All right, doesn't look too bad up here. Um, cam lobes don't look too worn out. Uh, honestly, they don't look used much at all. Um, doesn't look like that milky oil ever made it up to the top here, I don't think. Let's see if we can get my finger on some. Oh, yeah, it did make it up here. So, uh, definitely have to flush this out. But, um,. I have a strong belief, belief that the water pump was the issue. So I'm going to go ahead and order a new one up. And let's see if we got a bunch of rust in there. Too bad, but um, let's get this water pump apart. I'm curious to see if it was failing internally or if it was just the stupid gasket crap they put on there. All right, let's get this uh, gear off of here. And then we'll be able to see if the water pump was actually the part that was leaking. There's a the little clamp. And you can go 
ahead and pop his gear out. And then there's a pin. Poke that through. I'll just leave that with that and that, and then there's this washer. Um, let's just go ahead and get rid of this because this is just crap. So I know the coolant comes through here too, so it may have been a gasket issue. But I'm kind of leaning toward water pump. It doesn't really look like the same kind of water pump that I've used in the past. But let's go ahead and get this off. Pop it out like that. Um, I'm gonna have to clean this up. But I still need to separate this. I mean, the pump still, I don't know, it doesn't turn. Looks like it's locked up. Let's see. <clears throat> um, so it does turn. It just doesn't turn very freely. Let's see if I can separate this. Oh, interesting. So, this has got some Phillips screws on the back here. I've never had a water pump that had that. Um, usually, it's just these three bolts and this, or yeah, these, these bolts. One, two, three, four. Usually come out and then it separates. This is the first I've ever seen this. So through the years, they must have updated it. So I guess I need a screwdriver. Something new every day. Just glad they're not like stripped. Because then I'd have to be buying a new water neck too. So hopefully this will allow me to separate this. Get this guy out of there. Let's try again. Look at that. Came right apart. So. Hmm. Oh, that brown stuff is. It looks like it got hot, maybe. So I'm going to order up a water pump. Um, this one definitely feels like it's been all, yeah, see. So 
So a lot of people get the rebuild kit and you know you replace these seals here. But this looks like it's definitely uh seen better days. This is all pushed up. Let's see if it pushes that down with any. Let's put it back in there. Yeah, pushes it tight, but all right, well, I'm gonna start with the water pump. So I'm just gonna stop right here until I get some uh, parts. Uh, I got the cover off. Um, doesn't look too bad in there. I'm gonna check the valve clearances. We'll get it to top dead center. And uh, I don't know. I strongly believe it's the water pump, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the head gasket as well, just to make sure. And uh, kind of go from there. I mean, the gasket kit's a gasket kit. So, I mean, it's just more of my time, really. It's not any much more of a, an expense. I mean, sure, I can just go buy that gasket, but I might as well just get the whole gasket set. So, I'll stop here at this point and uh, stay tuned for some more videos on this. But it definitely doesn't look too bad down there. Um, I don't see anything out of the ordinary don't see any metal shavings it's just a matter of oil was mixing with coolant um, definitely gonna have to go ahead and flush this a couple times so we'll go ahead and put it back together put some oil in it run it for a little bit and then I'll end up changing the fluid again just to make sure it clears out gets rid of all that nasty milky water coolant in there so but um, from the other water pumps I've done, this one definitely looks different. So I'm about to make sure we can find that water pump, that exact one, unless that was a different kind of water pump. I don't know. Uh, like I said, mine never had um, those two screws on the back. And then this one definitely looks different. Just this end looks different. So, um... I'll go ahead and order that up kind of start from there so that way we can get it running if we get it running we don't have any more issues with coolant mixing with water then i'll go ahead and order some other parts so stay tuned for some more videos <laughs> 